Hey guys, I'm here today to talk to you guys about this wig from Amazon that I ordered. It was $16. The company is AOZ Wig. And yeah, so this is the wig that I'm wearing now. So stay tuned if you want to know more about this wig. Okay, so first I want to start off by saying thank you for all of my new subscribers and welcome. Um, we're happy to have you here. Um, and hey to all of my subscribers who've been with me since I've been starting this whole YouTube process. So about the wig, I told you guys that I ordered it from Amazon. It was $16.99, very affordable under $20 um, I got it in two days because I have the Amazon Prime but this is the package that it came in and I honestly don't know why maybe something's I don't know but on the package it has ATO Z wigs but I have it pulled up here and I'll leave the link down below um, on Amazon it's just AOZ wig and I'll have all of this information down below for you guys um, inside of the packaging it gave, they gave me a wig cap which is really nice but obviously I didn't use it because I already have my hair braided up so I just have to tuck tuck my braids and I'm fine um, and they do send you a thank you card um, for your purchase so yeah that's awesome there um so the wig is synthetic it's uh, this is a silk based closure here it's not lace but everything else in here is lace it's just this part is silk based um like i said it's synthetic it does take heat um i used my remington flatters on it and i have them set to 400 so nothing melted when i used them so that's great um, and the density of the wig is 150% let me pull it all to the front so you can actually see the density of the wig so to me this doesn't look exactly like 150 I would say probably like uh, they say it's 150 uh, density the construction of the cap was I mean it wasn't bad but I feel like it could have been better there's two adjustable straps in the back and like I said this is a silk based closure so putting like concealer on it you can't even tell that I, I did you can't even tell but here I had to put concealer on the edge because it was very very noticeable like you can you can you could see it it was very very noticeable um, but once you just put a little concealer on it, like it helped, it made a big difference. It, it really helped. Um, and you can't really expect, you know, perfection from a $16 synthetic wig. Like you just can't. This is where the wig falls is 22 inches. Um, so it's like just a little under, under my boob, just a little bit. Um. I do like the wave pattern that's in it. The hair is really soft. Um, it does shed a lot. This is all of the shedding that I got and I'm pretty much, if I go through and comb again, I'm probably gonna get this amount again. It was a lot. Like it's, it's all over my area right here and it's on my thighs, like it sheds a lot. But like I said, it's $16, so you really can't expect perfection when you're really not paying for it, really. Paying that much for it. But um, overall, the color is really pretty. Like, you guys know I don't do color, but this is a really pretty color. Um, I don't really know yet how I feel about it on me per se, but I don't know. And I did notice like 
this piece back here i don't know if this is supposed to be a sideburn because the picture of the girl wearing it on their website is a middle part but i liked it better on the side i don't know if this is supposed to be a sideburn because only like on this side there's no sideburn so middle part um i'm gonna say this wig is like a five a four and a half to me um there's some things the company could definitely improve on like if you're gonna put sideburns on here like do the other side like that should be automatic um the fact that the construction of the wig is white i think that I don't know that's yeah I don't know that that should be black to me black or brown or just a little bit of a dark color or you could tint the roots and make it black and make it match something I don't know but I'm really not feeling the color of the inside of the construction cap I'm not feeling the lace I mean the silk base closure I think that that should be lace honestly mm, okay um yeah it's this is definitely like a quick wig if you want to try this color out and see how you like it um that's what i normally did my braid get caught in here um Yeah, so this is definitely great. Like, if you want to try this color out and see how you like it, um, I, I would recommend that. But this is not something that you want to be out in public and you run your fingers through your hair and they get stuck or you get this massive ball of shedding hair, stuff like that. Um, I would say they're on the right track. Just fix the closure, fix the... Uh, material that you're using to sew the hair on the, the cap and just when you style the wigs like like just make them match that's it just make them match like I shouldn't have sideburns on one side and I don't on the other side um so yeah I like it better as a side part if I feel like it looked better on me I can accept it more this way but I don't know guys tell me what you think do you think it's worth the $16 or what do you guys think like leave leave your comments down below um, gosh it's not a bad wig it's it's a pretty wig it's just I can't deal with the shedding. I can't deal with this closure. I can I can I can deal with the, the base, the cap. I can deal with that. Is but this closure, Jesus, like I really feel like I'm pressing on some some paper, like something's in there. I hear it. So yeah, but I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Do you like this color on me? Do you think I should try some different colors? Like, what do you guys think? Because I normally stick to my natural hair color and I just keep it going from there and I don't even worry about nothing else. Um, so, yeah, let me know what, got, what you guys think about this wig on me. Let me know what you think about the wig in general. And, yeah, thumbs up this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.